It was very common in the 70s, 80s and 90s and early 2000s for a family to use blank VHS tapes and record their favourite TV shows. Most of the time, tapes have been recorded over numerous times. And now it's up to me to find the last mystery VHS tape and see what shit we can salvage. This is Mystery Tape Time. What is up guys, welcome back to another Mystery Tape episode. This is episode 11 and the tape that I pulled out today Nothing. Nothing written on it at all. So I've watched this, converted it, and we've chucked it onto the computer. I'm Robbie Hollywood, of course, and you all know who I am, because if you've been watching them and subscribing, these are all the tapes that we've done so far. Look at them all. Look at them all. These are all the mystery tapes I've watched, all these. And I've watched all the way through every single one of them, and some of them have been fucking shit. But that's all right. We chucked this one on. So we know it looks clean, it looks modern, so modern stuff. So my favorite thing to do all the time is when we chuck in the tape, we see what's first on the tape. So let's do this. we got here is some shitty movie that I did not know what it was so we did a little bit of a fast forward we did a little bit of fast forward and I've realized that this is secondhand lions secondhand lions which is in the 2000s so we don't have a 90s video we don't have a 80s video we've got in the 2000s secondhand lions so what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip through to all the adverts and I'm just gonna show you all the best adverts and all the best bits and pieces what is on this video. Hello again, Charlene Sirac with you. A four metre great white shark has terrorised a Rockingham fisherman, circling him in the water after he fell in while trying to fend off the shark. It had been chewing on the motor of his dinghy off Point Perrin. The man was rescued by a passing boat. So that is legit my area I kind of live in. I'm not going to tell you where I live, uh, but that is a good 20 minutes away from me and that is one of our destinations where we go swimming all the time. And yes, we have sharks that big in our swimming area. Take the bike. That's where she should have really been saying, fuck off, mate. Who the fuck are you? Take the stairs. She didn't really have a choice, did she? Because, um... She didn't have the car to go through the McDonald's drive-thru, so she had to take the bike and then had to take the stairs, which means then she had to get whatever was out of the freezer. Uh, so she had to have a fucking healthy choice. So as you can tell, it's a more of a modern uh, mystery video, but there's still some good ads. I always wanted to be in a good guy's ad and be one of those dickheads dancing around. Don't ask me why, but I've always wanted to be in a good guy's ad. The good guys, pay less, pay less. Good guys, if you're watching, put me in one of your shit ads. God, the ads were terrible. The, the ads were terrible, but I want to be in one still. I want to be in a good guy's ad. Is there someone out there that does the good guy's ads? Fucking, if there is, I want in. I want in. Everyone coughing on the food, getting corona. That's what you do when you've got a buffet for everyone. Sizzler. Lamar, 
Buzz Free Buzz promotion is now on. One in six buzz will win instantly. I fucking used to love that Mars promotion. Get one for free. That was brilliant. And I think I won like two or three. And I remember I won a free Mars bar from the free Mars bar that I got. So then I got a free one and then I got a fucking free one. Make me choose. We can't go on like this. You have to make a decision. No, he doesn't. Get our new All-Stars box. With loads of your favourites, including original recipe, popcorn chicken, a crispy strip, wicked wings and sides, the choice is easy. KFC's All-Stars box. Now the only decision is... <laughs> what to eat first. <laughs> KFC's All-Stars box. Notice how he was sitting in the back of the car and the two girls were sitting in the front? <laughs> because he's always going to be the friend that never gets any. I've got to make the decision. I've got to make the decision. Mate, they've already made the decision for you. They're, they're not fucking giving it up to you, all right? You're sitting in the back. You're already the bitch. You're just always going to be the friend. Funny <laughs> <laughs> oh. we had kickers like Dale Thomas. Don't worry, coach. I'll make good kickers out of them. Don't worry, coach. I'll be a sook and leave the club and go join someone else. Your dream team with new footy kickers. There's one free in all specially marked packs of thin Samboy Cheezels, French fries and CCs. Yeah. Yeah. Great kickers. Great chips. They were awesome, those uh, free uh, little footy card chipper things in the packets of chips. I used to collect them. Let us know in the comments if you were a collector of those and used to get the uh, bags of chips. So this is where we established what year this video was from. This is 2009 because this was an ad for the new Star Trek movie coming to the cinemas in Australia. Oh, I don't feel so good. This cold's a really bad one. I've got a fever. Ten minutes to There's another fucking corona uh, case right there up on the plane. It was all happening back in 2009 and we didn't even know it. It wasn't even a cold and flu symptom that he just had. It was the corona. Why would you even go up there for a fucking aeroplane jump, fucking glide, fucking plane gliding, parachute, whatever the fuck you call it? Anyway, when you crook. You gonna be okay? Lemsip Max's powerful formula starts to relieve fever in under 10 minutes, so you can feel better fast. How did they boil the kettle up on the plane? How did they boil the kettle? I've got a feeling that the instructor just took a piss in the mug, gave it to him, tricked the fuck out of him, and he just fucking... He just thought he was getting fucking better. Joe Hall with the latest from Nine News. In Australia's first confirmed case of swine flu, the 28-year-old New South Wales woman tested positive for a weak strain of the virus after returning from overseas. Okay, so we had a virus outbreak in 2009. We had the swine flu. That didn't close everything down like this fucking shit that we've got going on, eh? But the swine flu, how did that end up? That must have turned into this, maybe. The final countdown. Who will be Australia's Susan Boyle? A current affair. <laughs> How smart are you? Do you know what your IQ is? Simply SMS IQ to 193535 and answer five questions to get your IQ score. You'll also get IQ. Score. Why would you want to waste your money and do that? Really? Share your score with friends. SMS IQ to 193535. Take the IQ challenge and SMS IQ to 193535. Look at him, he got the highest IQ and all the girls went and sat on his lap. They only wanted him because he had the highest IQ. The other guys are like, fucking damn, this fucking app. 63% of women find they cannot climax during intercourse. It can lead to feelings of frustration. Oh, shit. Satisfying sex, and it could make you feel irritable. Call now to find out about the new thing. Are you feeling irritable? Because you might need to call this. And 
can give you that toe curling sheet shredding climax you've been longing for. Call the doctors at AMI now on 1-800-204070. If you're tired of faking it, call now and give yourself a chance to make your pleasure real. Don't wait for him to become a better lover. Call the doctors at AMI. 1-800-204070. Tired of faking it? Chicks don't fake it. Adultmatchmaker.com.au has over one and a half million members online. Visit her webcam chat rooms. See our events and party listings for singles and players. So this must have been taped late at night time now that we're getting all these juicy ads. The webcam party looked all right, didn't it? Now, swing into action at adultmatchmaker.com.au. Did people ever actually use that? I want to know in the comments, did anyone ever go on that adult matchmaker site? Or even these premature and AMI ads and all that. Did anyone ever do these? It's all right, you can say in the comments. Just don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Just let me know. Many men and women ignore the serious implications of premature ejaculation. Premature ejaculation can put a tremendous strain on your relationship. Nah, it doesn't happen all the time. Just, it's just this one, it's just the one time, eh? It's just, it was just this, it just doesn't always happen, eh? Make men feel inadequate, extremely embarrassed, and can make them seem like selfish lovers. Selfish lovers? It's not his fault he blew his load so far. You can't fucking say he's a selfish lover. To 11 to see if they can help you. You could make sex last longer and share the experience together. You could satisfy your partner and rekindle that fire. Call AMI now for longer lasting sex. 800. Did this stuff actually work? Did anyone use it? Please let me know in the comments. Did this ever work? And there's so many of these ads in a row. Well guys, that was tape 11. That is finished the blank. The blank one was 2009, but let's bring it up on the... Let's bring it up there. 2009 is added to the list. We've had 1986 twice, 1988 twice, uh, 89, 90, 95, 96, 97. And now we're in the 2000s with 2009, which is pretty cool. So the unlabeled, the unlabeled tape. Thought we'd go an unlabeled tape for this uh, episode because all of them have been labelled so far that I've pulled out. But that's 11 tapes so far. That's 11 tapes. One more tape will make 12, which will make uh, three months worth. So that's pretty cool. We've gone through a lot. Uh, I think we'll grab one out of the box for next week. That actually has a label again. Let's try and find an old one instead of uh, the modern day ones. Thanks so much for watching. That's been 11 episodes. We have been killing the... Killing it and killing it with these mystery tapes, episode after episode, and I'm not going to stop because I love watching these. They make me laugh, and I like watching the old shit. So join me. We got kiss reviews. We've got horror movie stuff. We got thrifting. We've got the Aussie blokes talking shit. Just join us, guys, and uh, click the subscribe, like, click the bell icon. It always helps me. If you only like this, just watch this. If you want to watch some Kiss, if you want to watch some uh, horror movie reviews, if you want to watch Frifting, come on over to the channel. It's great and watch everything. Or you can just stick with this if you like it. But uh, everything helps me out and I'm trying to fucking make this, expand this channel and have a little bit of everything on there for everyone. And just have some fun. Alright guys, that's all I've got time for. See you!